If you are burning through connects and not getting any interviews on Upwork, you need to watch this video. Your success on freelance platforms and your earnings depend on how good your profile is. And in this video, I'm going to go through mistakes many freelancers are making and how to sort them out. Then I'm going to show you how I'll rewrite a profile description that wasn't getting any clients. So let's dive in. When a client visits your profile, one of the first things they see is your profile photo. To get clients' attention, you should take a photo of yourself against a plain background, maybe a white wall, but not necessarily. Or you can take a photo against any background, then remove the background. I have a video on how to do that. Check the description of this video for the link. You need a good lighting, not too dark, not too bright, as you can see on these photographs from Upwork. That they give you guideline on what are the photos requirements. Also you have to look at the camera and a slight a smile just to give the friendly impression. You see on this photograph the one on the left is darker and the lady is not looking at the camera. That's not a good profile photograph. Second one the one on the left shows a lot of background and obviously the face is too small to be visible for the clients. On this third photograph, again, you have to crop it properly so your face shows well. They give you other bad examples of photograph, like the one with the horse. The background is distracting in this case. The last one is supposed to be a good photograph, as it's against a plain background. The lady is smiling, looking at the camera. The lighting is good, but it's a low resolution. I don't know why they put low resolution photograph here. You should have your phone number verified or ID verified. This gives trust you are more likely to be hired than someone who didn't go through the verification process. Now, what are the clients looking for? First, can you do the job they require and give them the results they need? They also want to know if you worked on a similar project to theirs. What is the typical process you go through when you start a project? How will you solve their problems or get them closer to their goals? Before writing the profile, I want to show you the top mistakes that people are making in their profile. In this profile, the person is saying, hello, my name is... You don't want to waste this line. This is the most important line of your profile, re mentioning your name because they can see it next to your photograph already. And some of them are repeating what's in the title. And that's wasting of the line where you should be putting something that attracts the client. The second mistake, and this is purely my opinion, is charging very high in the beginning. When you don't have any clients like this person here, I understand that web developers have high skills and they charge this sort of amount per hour, but not when you don't have any clients. This person has zero earnings and didn't do a single job and they're charging $150 per hour. I think that's high for someone who's just starting. Lower your rates just to get the clients. When you start to get 5 stars reviews, you'll start raising your hourly rate. If you have no 5 star reviews and no high quality work examples, you don't have the social proof to get any jobs. The next mistake a lot of freelancers make is grammar mistake. We all make spelling and grammar mistake, but when you're writing a heading and profile description, the worst thing that you can do is making spelling and grammar mistakes. So use Grammarly for free, just install the extension to correct your mistakes. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of one of these clients. Will you hire someone with a high hourly rate who has a bad or just an okay profile with no 5 stars reviews and no portfolio or just an okay one? I wouldn't waste my hardly earned money on a profile like that. So please do me a favor. Post this video and go to your profile and sort out those mistakes if you have any of them on your own profile. If you are getting any value from this, please give me a like. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, if you have no clue where to start and you want to write a profile, I've got some steps for you to follow. Number one, skills. First, decide what skills you want to offer. Focus on the skills that will be the most tired for. How do you know? Do your research. Search on Upwork jobs that got the most demand to help you out. I'm going to link this article by Upwork on the top 10 most in demand skills. You might be interested in one of these. You already have these skills or you want to learn and offer one of these. So you can see web design, WordPress, web programming, JavaScript, CSS, HTML and so on. And that's in the tech category. 
now the 10 most in demand skills in social media, social media marketing, lead generation, Facebook SEO, and so on. So go and have a look, read through this article, or check one of these links, and it directs you to the top freelancer who offer these skills. So you get an idea on how much hourly rate they're charging, but those are top rated, so that's what you expect after some time when you have learned accumulated experience. The next step is research. Check the terminology that shows that you know what you're talking about, the technical words or the keywords related to the category that you, the skills you want to offer. For example, you can't just say developer. You should specify ideally what programming language you use or what platforms you use and so on. So when you do the research of these terminology or tech words, The research should be on the job posts as well. Search the terms and the requirements that you see over and over on job offers. Then search the top freelancer profiles. If you go to find work and then on the top here from the drop down list you click talent, hire professionals and agency. Click that and then you start searching freelancer that's offering the offering the skills that you want to or for yourself. For example, graphic design or lead generation or social media marketing and so on. So what you want to look on top freelancer profiles, check what the top ranked freelancer use as keywords and how they structure their profiles. How they structure, how do they write the headline of that specific skill. And it should be in this format. So you write the expertise, the skills that you want to offer, then the technical skills the most searched. This serves as a keyword and you will be able to be recognized by the Upwork algorithm and you will be shown to people who are looking for that talent. And then ideally the results the client gets. It doesn't apply to every single category though. For example, expert This is a good headline, professional web developer, and then he writes technical terms people are searching for, like WordPress, Shopify, and web design. Now, profile description writing. In the profile, ideally you should be including some of the problems the clients face. You demonstrate to them that you do understand their issues, their struggles, and what their problems are. Highlight your skills, experience, and expertise. Also, the type of work you do, examples of past work you can add in your portfolio, but it's okay to give some examples. And you can add some of the testimonial previous clients, even on other platforms, and so on. Some of the rules you should stick to when writing the description, though, are you may be tempted to copy others' exact sentences, but try not to. Try to get inspired by those sentences but don't copy them otherwise you get banned. Also write short sentences in the form of bullet points. I think clients don't have enough time to read long paragraphs and that's just my opinion. They will be put off freelancers who write long paragraphs on their profile description. And the final step is work example. You must show that you can do the job at a higher quality than any other freelancer. You can show it by adding the best work examples you can make. If you don't have them, create them specifically for this to show it to clients. Invest time in making them and they will get you clients. You can ask for testimonials from uh, clients that you are confident they will write good things about you. And later when you have the five stars reviews, they will prove that you are worth hiring. The last Step is call to action. Call to action is very important. You have to tell the client what to do after reading your profile. So invite them to hire you or um, you can say press the hire button on the top or let's discuss your requirements or, or drop me a line. It's time to write the profile description. The first thing I did is I searched job offers and noted down keywords and the terms that I see repeat over and over. And as you can see here, I'm going through many job offers just to check what terms they use and what they're looking for. And I might get ideas on their problems, issues they're facing. And then started checking the uh, the top rated freelancers just to check what they write in their profile. And I noticed uh, in the graphic design 
Most of the freelancers have an average profile description and they still get hired. And I think because of the portfolio, they have outstanding portfolio and, and their work speaks for them. But in other areas, you have to highlight your work and the details that we mentioned earlier. But in other areas, you might have to have a decent profile description to be able to get clients. So, as I said, the first or first to three lines are important. I tried to write something that will grab the, the client's attention. And then I wrote and worked together to create your professional looking graphic designs. And this includes, here I included what I can offer, wrote infographic, label diagrams, product features, graphic for social media, comparison charts, and banners. Then I highlighted appearance. I have and I added it's important when you do freelance work to stick to deadlines what might be their goals or their the result they want to achieve and so on here I wrote the result they might want to get or the goals they want to achieve so I wrote if you want to get noticed on social media and get more likes and followers or increase your click-through rate for your product listing or make your content look professional and then here I um, wrote them what they will get if they hire me like make infographic images that quickly communicate the feature the benefits of their product and um, provide multiple images of the same product to test the conveying images design eye-catching lifestyle images of your of their product uh, listing and so on i also um, highlighted that i will work to the deadlines and try to get them their results as fast as possible i also included the tools i'll be using and then my call to action I said, interested, let's discuss your requirements and invite me for the job. So you see here, I didn't write a lot of paragraphs. And most of my profile is bullet points, quick and easy to read. I also created some, some work examples. I must admit they're not the best work ever. I'll try later to make a better one. But for, for this video, that's what I'm going to include. So I've included this uh, leaflet example, graphic design for their dummy uh, I think gives them an idea of what what I can do or what I can offer that's all for today thank you for watching